Nakipagpulong ang Department of Tourism sa mga tourism players sa Central Europe. Layon po nito na mapataas pa ang bilang ng mga turista sa Pilipinas mula sa naturang rehiyon. Si Noel Talakay sa Detalya Rise and Shine Noel. Matagumpay ang pagkikipagpulong ng Department of Tourism o DOT sa mga tourism player ng Central Europe. Ayon kay Sekretary Cristina Garcia Frasco, layo ng pulong na pataasin pa ang bilang ng mga turista sa Pilipinas mula sa nasabing rehiyon. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our listening tour for our partners across Europe, specifically in this region including Germany. This afternoon, we will give you insights into what the Philippine government is doing to ensure that the comeback of Philippine tourism is stronger and better than ever. Pinag-usapan sa nasabing pulong na dinaluhan ng mga tourism mover at player sa Central Europe ang connectivity, training at marketing and promotion. Ayon kay Sekretary Frasco, ang Germany ang 11th biggest tourism market ng bansa noong 2022. Katunayan batay sa datos ng DOT noong nakaraan taon na sa mahigit 39,000 na turista mula Germany ang nagpunta sa bansa, mahigit 23,000 mula France, mahigit 19,000 mula Netherlands. Lands, mahigit 11,000 mula Switzerland at mahigit 8,000 mula naman Belgium. Sinabi rin ni Frasco na ayon sa datos ng Philippine Retirement Agency ng DOT, ang Germany ang ninth biggest source market ng bansa para sa mga retirees. Dahil dito, inilatag ni Frasco sa nasabing pulong ang mga plano at programa ng ahensya para sa German market. While Germany and this side of Europe may still be experiencing vestiges of winter, we are now about to welcome the summer in the Philippines. And that is why we have launched our Philippine Overwintering Packages that offers various tourist packages across our destinations that are attractive to this market. Combining sun and beach, nature-based offerings, cultural as well as cultural, culture as well as cultural immersions. Ang Cebu, Palawan at Bohol ang madalas puntahan o tourist destination ng mga turista mula Germany ayon sa DOT. Tiniyak ni Frasco sa mga tourist mover at player sa Central Europe na ang tourism industry ay isa sa mga priority ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. particular na sa connectivity, human capital development, kasama na ang peace and order. And that is why our president is uh, very serious in ensuring that the gains that have been made as far as peace and security are sustained and that any other areas that may still have challenges in terms of insurgency and the like are properly managed. Uh, soon we will be entering into a memorandum of agreement with the Department of National Defense and the Department of Interior and Local Government for purposes of, purposes of ensuring that the bedrock of our development of tourism is really Samantala, pinag-usapan din ni Nafrasco at mga German tourist official ang tourism venture sa pagitan ng dalong bansa kasama ang pagkakaroon ng German language training sa Pilipinas. Noel Talakay, para sa Morning Show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine, Pilipinas.